Charlie Chili. <laughs> so I went out, yes, I need help. So we went to the house there. Her mother is about 85. You know, her body needs something. Problem with stomach, it's like that. So doctor is rushing here, doctor is hanging there, looking at everything. And then after that, all messing, all people running in a mess. I just go around there. She saw me, she opened her eye because she recognized me. I used to pray for her every day when she go up from here to the town. I used to lift up her because she's a very strong lady. She saw me, she gave the hand and lifted her. As the prayer mode, she was late. Then the doctor said, what happened, Johnny? What happened? No, you have the peace of Christ in her now. She's resting. So doctors are having fruit. This and that. Then I go to the fruit. Father, in the name of Jesus, with this water, run the water, close it to her, clear all these sickness, give the company peace. Yeah. Doctor look at me. He did doctor look at me. What is the sort of thing about this fruit? Yes, the way sometimes we see people, doctors hang on any fruit, go and give a blessing of fruit. Lord, this is the fruit. That is the living water that grows and destroys all sickness in his body, soul, and spirit. Lord, we trust you and not the fruit. And you behave. And no one knows this technique. Actually yeah. so speaking, it's a very really beautiful thing. Go to hospital, see anyone have to do. Just go to bless the Lord. And you will come healing immediately. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, all the time. Yeah. So, any more testimony? You have a lot of work we do now. I'll go forward. Please. <laughs> we have no time. We have a lot, a lot, a lot. Yeah, yeah. So let someone else share now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I take the rest. He's a speaker, so he will share all his testimony <laughs> uh, in uh, half an hour. <laughs> yeah. Please, any anyone? Don't win, don't we hold your uh as well? Just think of what God has uh, <coughs> did to you, eh? For past uh, one year or one week, uh? day, No one. Yeah, I've been happy there. I just want to thank God uh, for the past year. Thank God uh, for the business. However, uh, beginning of the this year, I surprised There's so much business coming in. Uh. Amen. So. Uh, I think one thing I can close about maybe about 10 deals like that. So I thank God. So uh, this is a good year. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Any more? Hmm? Still got time. Huh? We have enough for half an hour for okay. I have one more. One more. <laughs> <laughs> This lady is in 1617, Columbia Home. She's a doctor. Husband's a doctor. No, no, no one is a. She's in a coma and only can stand up the roof, the roof days and nights over the side. So each time when, people, when I pray, the husband see, the husband push him away. He doesn't want people to pray for the wife. Okay? So I only know it will come at 11 in the morning, so I go up at 9 o'clock in the morning. Okay. Each time they push the patient out, a lot of ladies there. Brother, if you have time, visit them. All on my age 70 plus. Pastor, Reverend, health superintendent, doctors, lawyers, teachers, all are there. You can say your prayer one by one. No one will show you. I'm a oldest member there, they never say anything. So, it took me nearly three and a half years to pray for this mother, this sister. Every day I pray, Lord, your will be done. You created us for beauty, for success, but not for failure. You want us to enjoy the, your glory as in that, joy and be. Thank you for this mother, Lord. Look at her, Lord. The only thing you know to her, in her, is that this is a living soul belongs to you. The rest is earth to earth, touch earth, as you ask, Father. Don't let her suffer, Father. Take her back, walk her back. Let her see the beauty of heaven. And baptize her too. And pray for his birthday. Last week she passed away. Don't you think that really good? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, awesome. She passed away and then they have a funeral and good service. Praise the Lord! God has been there for three years. Amen! Amen. 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 Amen.
brother Charlie has so much to share. How about you? Any more? It's not so quiet. Well, right? Praise the Lord. Right? Hallelujah. Uh, I the day we receive our salvation, God wants us to share His love with others. It's only are we sensitive enough or not? Sometimes we can be very naive. There's a very young, uh, a very young widow in the church. Said he, said to say that husband passed away in an accident. So before the season, the Christmas, New Year, she was grooming in her a new widow, young widow, and he needs a lot of help, so many burdens, so many responsibilities. This one we, I know only after that I read the, I read the, thing, the, the, the Facebook. Mm. <laughs> so it was like, so there's one old brother, somehow or other God has touched him. So before the Christmas day, he just go, he go near to her and give her away a, a, a love gift. To her, he just a concern, a new video concern. But lately, she, he, he knew that that little love gift to her meant a lot of things. Amen. Because he was long used to fear. I wanted to do that before, before the, after the Christmas to the New Year. He said, when this love gift came, he has settled all the problem. Not more, not less, just exactly. Praise the Lord. Amen. Any more? I encourage you then I will share. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think a month ago, uh, I went to a bookshop. I saw a book. Uh, the title attracts me. Uh, Living with Confidence in Chaotic World. Have you read this book? It's by uh, it's Dr. David uh, Jeremiah. Uh, not, not Jeremy here. <laughs> okay. I find that this book uh, helps me a lot. It teaches us how to live in confidence, especially in this world now. Huh? So you, you can see uh, earthquake, flood, uh, so much thing happen, financial breakdown. But uh, God has a good thing for His children. And uh, we have a way to do it. And we just follow our Bibles. Uh, and uh, I just praise God uh, since he mentioned about business. Just before I I come here, I worked on the last four year my turnover. Actually, last year was a record year for me. Actually, with an increase of thirty five percent from the previous year. So uh, God has a good thing for his children. So don't don't be afraid. Huh? Yes, so live with confidence in chaotic world. Huh? Let this book go to a popular bookstore. Huh? I think it's, the book is quite cheap, 30, 35 ringgit. <laughs> okay. So any more? If not, uh, I think I have uh, one announcement. This uh, coming Tuesday, 11 of uh, January, uh, our HQ. Uh, uh, Central Zone uh, organize a CEO banquet. It means uh, this banquet uh, is uh, targeted at the CEO or the, uh, the top management uh, of the company. So if you have this this uh, seat uh, is uh, limited, only five or six table only, and he has a very good speaker from New Zealand. Uh, very good speaker. I think this uh, speaker I read his profile. Uh, he runs 38 company in uh, New Zealand, and he is from Sarawak, from Malaysia, uh, Chinese. He almost go bankrupt in the year of 1991. So just uh, within a few years, now he is uh, multi millionaire, uh, and uh, he only passed the business to the second generations. So to hear him out and uh, bring your friend and you have uh, this special category of friend uh, to, to go and uh, listen to his testimony, please contact our brother Aaron Nte, uh, our secretary of this chapter. Uh, okay, contact him. Uh, he will arrange the seat for you. 
And of course, uh, for us uh, member to go, uh, we have to pay 100 ringgit uh, per seat. But your guest is free if you want uh, a free seat for him. Uh, contact our uh, this one, or else you pay for him. Uh. <laughs> okay. Then uh, I think we don't spend much time, uh, waste much time. So we would, we would like to invite our special guest today, uh, Pastor Andy. Uh. Yes. I don't know him much. I just met him just now. And I know he's from states, and I can see him. Uh, he's with a lot of eating from God. Yeah. Uh, he yeah. can sing. He can uh, this one. And I heard he also doing the healing ministry. Uh, yeah. Let's hear from him. Uh. Let's welcome him. Yeah. First of all, I want to say thank you, Lord, for giving me opportunity to come to Malaysia. This time, uh, four times to Malaysia. And I really, truly love this country. The country actually harbor Vietnamese workers from North Vietnam, where they never have a chance to listen to the gospel of Jesus Christ. I think now my brother and sister is crying in Vietnam, especially in North Vietnam, they still face this persecution from them. So let's pray for them, okay? And uh, God bless in my heart this year. I open up my heart because my grandma is teacher Chinese. So I have a possibility for Chinese community also. And thank God I'm preaching this year in Chinese community more than Vietnamese. I just preaching three sermons in the Vietnamese bridge in uh, Black. Three sermons on it. And the rest, I go everywhere in Chinese community. And uh, this week I will go to Pantanamis and Ipo and uh, Inai. And over there, I keep going to Chinese chess like a PhD, preaching, healing, and delivery. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank God. God, uh, I used to, no, I, my name is Andy Chan. I'm from Minnesota, United States of America. American citizen, but Vietnamese American. And uh, I come here, and God anointed me in a very special way in my ministry. Before I become Christian, I am a professional singer in Vietnam. You know, all the nightclubs and uh, there's an environment now that's good at all. But I, first, when I got bring me to step, actually I'm not grateful hard for that. I said, oh Lord, in, America, in Vietnam I have somebody, I go to America, nobody. <laughs> this uh, take me about two years to trouble with that, confused with that. But now I'm totally thankful for this because if you don't bring me out of the country, maybe I go to hell. Salvation is the most precious thing for each one of us, right? God saved us in different time of our life, but I think He saved me at the right time because if I still in the nightclub, maybe I will get into safe or uh, drug or maybe something else. That God bring me out of the country at the right time and go to the church and I become Christian. And 1999, God showed me Himself. Jesus showed me Himself in vision. And I saw He's the only one, living God, from this moment, nobody can turn my faith somewhere else but Jesus. And He gave me a call. But at this time, like a young Christian, I don't know how to read the Bible, right? Sometimes when I take a book and I sleep in right away. <laughs> but I know that the devil tried to stop me, to try to confuse me. But then I know other brothers and sisters said, you must pray that Holy Spirit guide you. And then I feel God was so sweet for me. Sweeter than honey. Exactly like a sound of sweeter, sweeter than honey. And God announced me in a healing ministry. In my ministry, a lot of people got healed, even cancer. I don't touch them at all. So glory, totally, 100% to the Lord the most high. Because I pray over the poor <laughs> and oversee God heal them. We have some uh, video. The guy have an eight tumor on his body, 20 years. When he was 20 years old, 22 years. 20 years old, we have eight of them, one right in the stomach, and three on the, on the forearm, and four in the back. They big like this. 
whole people in Vila should know about that. He lived with them 22 years until one day. His auntie lived in New York City, and I go to visit her in New York City, Bronx, actually, and play over the phone. And overseas in Vietnam, Almighty oh God, Jesus, our Father of love, totally flat like never. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lord. Right? Amen. Hallelujah. And I pray for another man, 15 years, for the wheelchair in Florida. By this time in uh, New York City, because the whole other religion. And I use the self, the scripture that Peter had talked to the Lamb, said, I don't have gold, I don't have silver, but whatever I have, I give it to you. In the name of Jesus, so raise up and walk. And uh, you know, after 15 years on the wheelchair, he starts to walk. Amen. Yes, Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to the Lord. God. And some of they call it a miracle, but for me it is normal because I see every day, every single day. Today before I come here, I have another spiritual son in Kappa. A Peter come pick me up on it. And uh, father is a Catholic, uh, mother just no Christian, no Muslim either. They have paid for many years. They try not to punch it, they try to do anything. Hold all the money. Pain. Why hardly, sit hardly. Well, do whatever about it. And after I said, do you agree with me? We live in a sinful world. We all have sin. He said, yes. And I said, and repeat and repent after me. I said, Jesus, the person is saved. And after that, I prayed. He started not to feel me totally. He said, thank you, good pastor. I said, no, thank you, Lord. I did nothing to do with <laughs> Because we have big, Big ocean, but over there, God Almighty, He's had so long to touch you. Mm. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Mm. So, yesterday we go to visit one dentist, the Indian, and his wife, Indonesian. Me and Peter go to his office, and I saw he's had a lot, a lot of different kind of idol. Each religion have represented the people. <laughs> Hinduism, Buddhism, Christian, they had a picture of the heart of uh, Jesus. I said, you know what, even a picture of Jesus, God doesn't want you to have it. Now, I tell you, and he showed many things. He has high blood, uh, high cholesterol, and uh, diabetic. Diabetic. He had to take a pill every day. All the way, they so high. I said, okay, today is the day God come and deliver you and heal you. He had the habit about smoking. Very funny, in his office, no smoking, but he himself smoking. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, I know that's not good, but I cannot have. I tried to do it many times. I said, you know what? Because you, by yourself, by your power, you cannot fight against the demon. This is not just bad habit. This is the spirit of smoking in you now. Do you want to set free from it? Sure. And then I guided he and uh, his wife and said, Jesus, a personal savior, right in the office. And then we pray and cast all the demons, and he used to go join many cult before. He come uh, on the temple, he worship and bow down and burn the incense. I said, because of that, do you have already demon inside of you? But don't be scared, because our God is greater than this. And after that, deliver him from uh, uh, speak, smoking. And after he renounced, the new can renounce all the demon has come to him before he has prayed. And you know what happened? He went down. I pray. First time he uh, put the needle on and check uh, uh, sugar about 11.8. And after that, he said, okay, now we pray. Lay hand on him. Pray to Jesus that normal sugar come back right now, no more, no more. And that's second time, 10.2. Third time, 8.4. It's all, oh, it's good. It's hallelujah. But you know what? You want to keep the healing? You have to go to the church and 
become a pastor, go to pastor. I accept Jesus so that please baptize me, water my Jesus. Please teach me the God word. Because the healing come, but they will try to attack back. What's prevent from that? That will be God word. So I decided to learn the God word. And first of all, you have to take on the rest. I saw some Chinese stuff drink a bit. I said, okay. I said, did you do the Bible? Yes, sure, I did. Okay, in the book of Revelation, chapter 20, serpent, the snake, and Satan. Hello, get out of here, Satan. And they cut off and break them in the name of Jesus, and break all the power in the food and send them to the pit where Jesus tells them to go. Hallelujah. Me and Peter, like a partner in Christ, <laughs> he know many people. And you know, my heart is I to serve the Lord among Chinese people. And I'm Chinese. I have a responsibility to China, right? <laughs> and so one day I will learn a memory because uh, my grandma hates you, but my dad's name was speak Chinese with me. So sorry, I don't know Chinese. And I grew up in Vietnam, especially in North Vietnam. So I speak Vietnamese, English, and I talk uh, in Russian too because I spent 10 years in Russia. So I can speak Russian very fully, even better than me. I thank God God used me to uh, ministry for Russian speaking people, people in America, because uh, a lot of like a uh, group of Kazakhstan, from Azerbaijan, they uh, ex they are former Soviet Union Republic, and uh, we have a Russian uh, friend delivering many cases around a lot. Average every day about two or three cases uh, delivering. I'm healing a lot and I ask God, God give me each day one soul. Doesn't matter whoever. Before the Lord, Vietnamese, Chinese, Malaysian, Indian, American, British, whoever, equal. But he faithfully he give me at least two souls per day, sometimes much more. So thank God for that. And some people ask me, okay, so where did you church? Where do you own church? Because you say you are a pastor, evangelist. I say, well, my church is the body of Christ. Wherever they need help, I come for this. So anybody of you guys have the fam or uh, loved one of sick, of pain, physically, emotionally, need help, give me a call. By the phone, I pray God will touch them. They touch the body, touch the soul, touch the spirit, so we can go together. Someone asked me, okay, we try to evangelize some people. I've been in Skitcha, his hometown. The lady in DC has only two restaurants. She has a lot of customers and a lot of friends. I want to talk about Jesus, but I know how. When uh, they love me, but when I say go to church, they say no, and they run. I say, of course, because they are not belong to Jesus. Yes, get the evangelist them to them. I say, okay, how? I say, very easy, very easy. When I come to people, I will not talk about religion. The other way, the spirit of religion, they fight against us and stop people to talk with us. I say, okay, first of all, I don't want to talk about religion at all, because all the religion except Satanists. All religion, teach them to do the good this, right? Love each other, be kind, charity, helpful. But I don't want to talk about religion because no matter how hard you try to do, we still have sin. By our sinful nature, and we live in the sinful world, we cannot hide from that. But the only way to get rid of sin, that's the Almighty God. If we ask for forgiveness, and when he forgives you, nobody can blame him, right? Okay, let's be calm. I know where Buddhist, Muslim, in Hindu, whoever, after they repent, they accept Jesus. A person said, they God healed. It's not so very easy. In my ministry, two and a half years, full time ministry, more than 3,000. But this is not much because I say God give me one billion so like I give give a meal from the Hakoki. <laughs> give me one million so but I see 
God is the, the one blessed abundantly, He will give me more than this. I used to uh, own a nail shop. I do nail nails. Beautiful. <laughs> Make a lot of money. But one day, God gave me a call to serve Him. You want me, myself, and not just money to give. And we sold the shop in 2006 and started to serve Him. First of all, like a part time, and the same that June 2008, is a full time ministry. I traveled a lot in the US, Canada, and Malaysia. And wherever he sent me to go. Sometimes the trouble about my not struggle. Because before I can decide how to spend money and what to do. But now I have to live with him. So I understand now I have to live by faith, like a Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I yes. shall not in this. But this year when I go to Malaysia, God bless you, my heart. And to come back here more. So I pray, God, if you want me to come back here to stand firm in basically help Vietnamese group and help Chinese group, let me open business here. I have my friend, he's a businessman in here, and he offered me to enjoy him as a partner to open Vietnamese restaurant in the year to see. I just pray for that. So I, I uh, want to open in North Carolina, America, and Ottawa, uh, capital of Canada. And I pray, if God wants me to do that, bless my friend. So I depend on him, not anybody else. Because for right now, I walk by faith, no addition, no denomination, no church support. But some of my friends who want to pray with me, they know my vision. And they support financial, but just a little. I just opened the no profit education in Minnesota. We call it gospel and miracle healing. This ministry just specialized about pray for healing and delivering cast demon from people. So you guys know that. Sorry today I have no more card. I have asked everybody an hour. <laughs> but Peter know my number, so he can give you anybody you want to. American number, Malaysian number, and email, and talk to me. In my, like, uh, my coordinator in Malaysia now. I have another coordinator, Paul Yong, in uh, Malacca, who uh, arranged for me the trip to uh, Pateramis, and Bipo, and Kia next week. So, they, uh, this Sunday I'm going to be preaching in a uh, Chinese church in Pateramis, and after that, next week, it is a uh, Sunday service, morning service with Kia. I don't know what it is, but he will come in here. So please pray for me. Amen. Together we can make a great thing for the world. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you very much, Pastor Andy. So, I think you. Spend me 20 minutes. 20? <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, doesn't matter. I think yeah. it's a ministry time <laughs> for him. Uh, so, <clears throat> no, I can pray for him. Yeah, yeah. Whoever needs healing, uh, needs a uh, okay. <clears throat> special touch from God, uh, so we like to invite him to pray for him. Uh. So, anyone? Just come forward. Uh, huh? yeah. Just come forward. Oh, anybody like uh, you guys, mostly I know you from charismatic Church, right? So you have received baptism by the Holy Spirit. But you remember one thing. The first time you receive baptism by the Holy Spirit, the responsibility, Jesus, because it's a deep promise. He go there and he said the Holy Spirit to us. But after that, we literally feel the responsibility is one of us. The more you thirsty for him, the more he Abundantly. The same way you have cell phone, the best cell phone today is like iPhone, right? iPhone 4, okay? Many feature, feature. But if you have no electricity, they use us. And the same way, we live in a simple world. We lose our energy. And spiritually and physically, we need to recharge. We need to recharge. So, so this is just come and pray. And let the Holy Spirit come 